It's not just a game. Family feuds are very real. They're nothing new. Haven't you heard about the Hatfields and the McCoys? Or what about Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? His play about two lovers and their feuding families. Well, today, as we go in and we meet the next main character of the Book of Esther, Haman, the villain of this drama, we are going to be drawn into some family history, showing us the far edges of a family feud that had been going on for a thousand years. Today, we begin a new segment in the book of Esther, chapters three and four. So grab your Bibles and the Gotcha Bible Guide and follow along as we unfold one verse, just one verse, verse one. Now, you will see that chapter three begins with a time phrase, after these things. Well, we have to stop and ask ourselves, after what things? Well, we just finished chapter two where Mordecai saved the life of the king. And we know from chapter two, it's the seventh year reign of this king. Well, if you go down into verse seven of chapter three, we are told it is now the 12th year of this king. Five years have passed. Five years have passed since Mordecai saved the life of this king. Well, as you go in today, you will see in your discovery that the king does not promote or reward Mordecai. No, he comes along and he promotes this man named Haman. Stop. Have you been there? Have you been neglected, forgotten, overlooked for a reward or a promotion? How'd you respond? What did you do? Did it cause conflict within? What about tension? Well, today what you will discover as this man, Haman, is promoted, he becomes Mordecai's new boss. And there's a bit of a problem because Haman is an Agagite. And God repeats this several times, so it's no small deal. Therefore, in our discovery today, we're going to go back to the book of Exodus that's going to drop us into the world's oldest family feud between Jacob and Esau's offspring. And once you discover truth today, you will understand that Haman being an Agagite adds just another layer of tension to the scene, which by the way, we should stop and mull over any family feuds and or enemies that we have in our interactions with them. Oh, go find an undistracted place and let's let God, our creator, unfold this verse to us today. And may we all be transformed by the power of his word.